hey, yo, my due date's coming up, you know, like on Sunday. I am 39 weeks and three days today and here I am still pregnant <laughs> this last week has I feel like has gone by the slowest of like my entire pregnancy I don't know am I the only one that feels like this I feel like this pregnancy just completely like flew by up until like last week and now it is just dragging on going so freaking slow. I think it's because I kind of had a feeling that I was going to have this baby earlier than like all my other pregnancies and clearly that's not the case as I have had zero signs of labor approaching anytime soon. <laughs> At this point I have lost like none of my mucus plug. I haven't been checked for dilation by my midwife but I haven't felt any sort of like change down there. I'm having some cervix pain. Every single day I have contractions. They are never consistent. They are never enough to make me think that I'm going to labor except for the one night. In my last video I talked about there was one night where I had contractions and they were every eight minutes and that went on for about two or three hours and I went to bed and I woke up and they were completely gone. So other than that night I've had zero consistency in my contractions whatsoever. I've tried walking, I've tried everything at this point to kind of get my body to like recognize that hey yo my due date's coming up you know like on Sunday. So technically I am not overdue yet but at this point I truly feel like I'm going to go overdue. <laughs> my next midwife appointment is on Friday. I don't know if she's planning on checking me that on that day since I'll be basically at my due date. But at my last midwife appointment, my last midwife appointment was on Friday and I realized I haven't talked about that yet. My group B strep results came back negative, thank God. I was so worried about that because I don't know how that works as far as treating group B strep when you're having a home birth. So luckily I do not have to worry about that and I swear it is because I've been taking the probiotics. I don't know if I mentioned that, but my midwife has me take probiotics to hopefully prevent being group B strep positive because I was group B strep positive with the twins. So I was taking the probiotics, I did get those results back and thank God they are negative. So I don't have to worry about that. Also at that appointment she told me that the baby is not completely 100% posterior anymore. It is turned slightly to the side. So basically, the I've mentioned this several times, but baby's head down, that's not an issue, but the baby's spine is against my spine, which can cause a longer labor, a more painful labor, and a more difficult delivery. So luckily the baby is sort of starting to turn. However, the baby is just like turning constantly. Like last night I could tell again it was back to being posterior because I could just you can feel at this point like it's, it's the size of a baby, like the normal newborn at this point. So I can pretty much tell where the kid is. I can feel where its butt is. I can feel where its back is. I can feel where its knees are. I can kind of tell where the baby is at this point. So the baby generally seems to like to hang out in the position of being completely posterior or like somewhat, I think they call it like transverse posterior. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. It's like turned just slightly um, to where the back is along my right side and he or she is facing my left side. So that's kind of the position that the baby's been hanging out in. I've still been doing all the positions to encourage the baby to turn anterior, but at this point I feel like it's either not going to turn at all or it's going to turn like while I'm in labor, which is very common apparently. A lot of the times when the mother goes into labor, the baby will just turn at that point, especially if you're on your fourth pregnancy like I am, so hopefully that's the case and hopefully there will be no issues. She did also say that she was estimating the baby to be just about seven pounds as of my last appointment and at this rate they do gain about a half a pound a week. So I'll ask her again on Friday if she could tell about like how big the baby is, but as of Friday she was thinking probably roughly seven pounds. I have still been swelling so much. I don't know if you guys can tell. I showed you guys in one of my um, like daily videos how swollen my hands get and it just comes and goes. It's not, I'm not swollen all the time and my midwife recommended that I stay away from like the saltier foods, like away from all the sodium because that can make you swell and I have been trying to do that and I do notice a difference so I do think that it's just like the salt in my diet and I need to kind of just like stay away from that and that's what's making me swell so bad. It's pretty much all that happened at my appointment. 
She did say that she just kind of expects me to go over at this point just because of how my body likes to really just like hold these babies in. But I have been doing everything to not incur not induce labor, but just to encourage my body to like recognize that it should be happening soon. I've been doing the evening primrose oil. I've been taking the 5W. I've been drinking rad, res rad raspberry leaf tea. I mean, literally you name it, I've done it except eat pineapple because I refuse to do that because pineapple is disgusting. But everything else, I've been bouncing my birthing ball. I mean, walking, I've been doing everything. I've definitely been trying everything at this point and it seems like nothing is going to get the job done except just waiting. So these past like two days or so, I've kind of just been like, you know what? I'm just not even gonna try anymore. <laughs> I'm just not gonna try. I'm wasting my time and my energy on trying to get my body to like go into labor that I'm, it's just not gonna happen. Kind of just come to the conclusion that I'm just gonna be pregnant for another week or two and I'm just gonna have to get over it. But on that note, I have been extremely uncomfortable no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm sleeping, walking, sitting, laying down, eating, I mean, just you name it, it's, I'm just like uncomfortable 24 seven. I cannot sleep at night. To get out of bed is like a 10 minute task. <laughs> to walk around anywhere puts me in like excruciating pain between the, my pelvic feeling bruise, like that feeling, I can't remember what that's called, but my pelvic bone feels like it's bruised all the time. And on top of that, I have that cervix pain and it's just been getting worse by the day. I mean, I'm just, I'm pretty much just a typical, uncomfortable, extremely pregnant woman right now. So also this last week, this isn't like really related to the pregnancy, but every single one of my kids got this little like bug, this like 24, 48 hour bug. It started with Landon last week and then the twins got it this weekend and then Lilia got it yes or two days ago and she just recovered from it yesterday. All four of my kids got sick and I feel like my like natural motherly instinct was like, okay, you can't have the baby now because all of your kids are sick and we can't bring a newborn into this mess. But I'm hoping that now that everybody has officially gotten it, everybody's healed from it, my body will be like, okay, that's cool. Now we got that out of the house. Let's do this now. <laughs> As soon as everyone started getting sick, I just knew that there was no chance of it happening anytime soon. And sure enough, here I am, still pregnant. So that's pretty much it for this week. I'm not gonna sit here and keep complaining because that's really all I have to talk about. I just feel miserable. I'm just ready to have this baby out. I wanna meet him or her. I wanna see their little face and just hold him in my arms and not my belly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my 39 week belly. So here is with the shirt on. And I feel so low and people keep saying that they think that I've dropped more like every single week But at this point I call BS on the whole like baby dropping thing because the baby dropped at 34 weeks And here I am still very pregnant. Here's with the shirt up Let's go ahead and not going to forget to measure this week Looks like I am at 45, 45 and a half. I have no idea what it was last week. So that is it for this week's video, guys. I don't really have much to update on. Um, we're kind of just playing the waiting game at this point. Everything's ready for the home birth. Everything's ready for the baby to get here. We are literally just playing the waiting game. I am ready for this child to get out. I know everybody on YouTube is ready. All my friends are ready. All my family is ready. We are just waiting now. We're playing the waiting game. So make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. That's where you'll see me update the most with things with this pregnancy and with their family. Of course, I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that is it for this week's video, guys. I will see you guys on Friday for our next video. Bye. Hi, guys. Shut up. And part of me was not hoping, but like sort of worried about if I happened to have gone into labor last night, what time would it be? If please like, share, subscribe my channel, and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when I upload a video. And also, we are giving away free ebook to our first 10,000 subscribers. Please click the link below on the description box.